Then he states the remaining takbirs and he makes sincere supplications for the disease. As the Prophet stated, if you pray over the diseased, make sincere supplications for him. One should supplicate for him according to what has been affirmed from the Prophet. This would include what Arthur the Malik narrated. He said that he prayed the funeral prayer behind the Messenger of Allah and he memorized the supplication that he made it made. It was, O oh Allah, forgive me, forgive him, have mercy on him, pardon him, and excuse him. Give him an honorable reception. Make, this, make his grave wide. Wash him with water, snow and ice. Feed him of sin as a white garment is cleansed of filth. Exchange for him an avoid that is better than his present avoid, and his family for a better family and his spouse for a better spouse. Enter him into paradise, protect him from the punishment of the grave and punishment and the punishment of the hellfire. I wished that I had been that diseased person. It is also sanctioned to make supplications in between the final takbir and the salutation. I witnessed it, and he made four takbirs over the diseased, and then he stood for a while, that is, they would supplicate. Then he said, do you, do you people see me t making five takbirs? They said, no. He said, certainly the Messenger of Allah would make four takbirs. But then, a person makes the two salutations similar to the salutations in the obligatory prayers, one to the right and the other to the left. This is based on the statement of Abdullah ibn Musim. Three actions did the Prophet perform and the people have left. One of them is the salutation of the funeral prayer being the same as the salutations in the obligatory prayers. It is permissible to state the salutations only once. This is based on the narration from Abu Huraira who said the Prophet performed the funeral prayer and made four takbirs and only one salutation. It is not allowed to perform the funeral prayer during the prohibited times of the prayer, except due to necessity. There are three times of the day concerning which the Messenger of Allah prohibited us from praying or from burying our dead. When the sunrise first occurs until it rises above the horizon during high noon until the sun goes beyond the zenith. When the sun is leaning towards sunset until it sunsets. The virtue of performing the funeral prayer and following the funeral fire. But the Prophet said, whoever prays the, for the disease but does follow the funeral fire will get one kirat of reward and the one who follows it will receive two kirat. Uh, it was said, and what is a kirat amount? He replied, the small of the two of them is like Mount of The virtue of following the funeral by is only for men and not for women. The prophet prohibited women from following the funeral prayer. However, this is a pro prohibition of discouragement only. We were prohibited from following the funeral bier, but it is, but it was not made something straight upon us. However, it is not allowed to, to follow the funeral bier via any means that contradict the Sharia and the, the narrated text mentioned mention two matters in particular by raising the voice voices in crying and allowing and following the bier with its incense. The Prophet said, the funeral bier is not to be followed in the procession by raining sounds or fire. Included in this category is the raising of one's voice by reciting words of remembrance in front of the funeral bier. 
as this is an innovation. This view is based on Kay's Ibn Abad's statement. The companions of the Prophet would dislike for anyone to raise their voice during the funeral. Furthermore, by doing such an act, one is resembling the Christians as they raise their voices by by reciting the gospel and words of remembrance in a melodic, mournful manner. Worse than that is what is being commonly done today in some Muslim lands, in imitation of the disbelievers, wherein a funeral procession is led by people playing musical instruments in a sorrowful tone. It is obligatory to move quickly with the funeral procession, but not to run or jump. The Prophet said, hurry and perform the funeral, for if he were a pious person, you will take him to goodness. If he was other than that, it is evil that you were removing from your necks. It is permissible to walk in front, behind, to the right, or to the left of the funeral by all along being close to it. However, those who are riding on some mode of transportation should be behind the procession. Procession. Uh, noted that the Prophet said the rider is to be behind the funeral procession, while the one walking may be wherever he wishes with respect to it. However, it is best to be behind it, as implied in the Prophet's words. Follow the you know, prayer procession. This is also supported by Ali's statement. When he said, walking behind it, the funeral procession is preferred to walking in front of it, like the prayer of a man in congregation is preferred to his prayer said alone. <laughs>